today, guys and gals, we're going to talk about two different things on both vehicles. They're the same mod for both, and for the FRS, I told y'all the other day in the last video, like six, seven days ago, that I was going to be doing the tag lights. Now, I went ahead and I did them at work a few nights ago. I don't remember what night it was. And then I did the fusions the next day. Now, I didn't get to take a video of it. It's cold and raining, and I didn't just, it, I just didn't have time. And I'm sorry that I didn't film that. But I'm going to show y'all how to do it on both a 2016 Ford Fusion as well as a 2013 Scion FRS BRZ GT86. Um, the first things, though, I want to talk about is the FRS. I told y'all before in the last video of how it was broken, how um, that clip and that bushing was missing, as well as, um, I think I said that I bought a fender liner as well. Well, I went ahead and I got the fender liner, and um, I put the fender liner in, and I used these clips that I got off of eBay, I think it was. Well, I went ahead and I put them on, and they didn't hold the greatest, which kind of makes me sad. Hang on, if I can get this thing to turn around. Okay, I'll just turn it this way. Y'all can see in there. I don't know if you saw very well or not, but I'll try to get another picture of it. But the clips didn't hold. They fell out. It ended up rubbing it again. So I got most of a fender liner now, but it's still kind of broken, screwed up. Just my luck, right? But anyways, besides that, I did go ahead and I got the bushing and the clip, and I told you I was going to put it in the make a video about it. But it was literally, I got underneath the car. It was raining the day that I got it. And if y'all saw at the beginning of the video, it works a lot better now. Well, I got underneath and I moved the shifter linkage to the driver's side, picked, like lifted up just a hair. And I was sitting there and I could feel where the hole, where the bushing was supposed to be in. So I grabbed the bushing, stuck it in, pulled it back down, and it had a little pin on it. And the pin came out. God, I hate the key. But, uh, had a pin on it you literally just stick the pin in and you twist it and it had a little snapping piece and it would catch on a piece of the drive train down there clipped in and as i will show you just right now it is working absolutely perfect the car shifts like butter this is what i wanted from this car yes i will still probably get a short shifter later on in the future probably the ft86 one if i said something wrong right there i'm sorry but i'll probably go ahead and go with that one eventually because i like a shorter throw anyways my tiburon had one my integra had one and just preferred the feel of it but anyways here is the video of that all right so it's literally and um, i have a verse First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. All going like butter, plus I have the clutch pushed in. But it's literally, it runs and drives so much better. I did go ahead and I checked my front tire whenever I put that fender liner in. And it looked like it had some camber wear to it. And I noticed the car doesn't really have any camber to it. So, it was kind of making me think, well, was the alignment bad off? Um, sorry about my hair. I woke up like an hour ago and I haven't taken a shower yet. I normally take one right before I go to work. But, um, so I looked on Facebook Marketplace and I found a guy selling one in the town over from me, like where I work at. Um, he said he had one, uh, had it for 50 bucks. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever, cheap you. He gave it to me for less. I'm not going to say how much, but cool guy, you know. Um, the tire had a little bit of dry rod in it, but, like, not serious, serious. But um, he said, hey, I found this tire. It was in my mom's barn. I don't think it was been there a while, whatever. Um, here you go. Paid him. He said, if it leaks, he said, call me back. You know, we can, you can pop the tire off, bring it back to me, and I'll give you money back. 
And I said, all right, that's cool. And I did that Sunday. Well, I went and had the tire mounted Monday, but I went ahead and also got a, I don't know if y'all can see this coming down the road. This is what I have to deal with. But I went and had the car aligned and the tire threw on Monday. Well, it turns out he said my, that my toe was in a little bit. And he said, but my camber was fine and everything else was fine. No, he didn't give me a sheet, which I don't like. But most people around here doesn't do that. It's, I'd have to go to a bigger city and stuff and find somebody that does. But anyways, um, he went ahead and told me that everything was fine. He dialed it in normal. Um, he said the tire was fine. He said he drove it down the road and he said it pulled a little bit harder to the right now because the tire was a little bit newer than the rest of my tires. And, you know, I'm going to be getting tires within the next few months. It's just the rest of the tires still have good tread on them. I just, I didn't want to go ahead and just waste them and throw another whole set on because I don't see the point in it. Yeah, oh, Billy, you will, you're going to have to do more work. I don't, it's, bro. The car will eventually get coilovers and adjustable everything underneath. So it's like, eh, I'm going to have to do another alignment eventually. So, oh well. I mean, I can deal with a little bit of a pull to the right. And anyways, whenever I rotate the tires, they'll be on the back. So, that's that. But anyways, um, guy was really cool that did the alignment. Got me in really fast. I called him like 12.30 on Monday. Because I just got in the car, the shifter and everything put back together. Just the bushing in and drove it down the road and it drove fine. I called him at 12.30 and I said, hey, um, do you have anything open? He said, yeah, I got one at 1.30. So, went in there. I told my old lady. I was like, hey, um, we got to be here at 1.30. And she said, we need to go. And I said, I got to put the rest of the car back together. I got to put the center console and stuff in. So, I ran out here, threw everything in. We left the house at like 12.50 and we were only 15 minutes from the guy. So we went and dropped it off and everything, and it was that whole ordeal. But coming home later that night, um, I got in the car, and I looked, and my tire pressure, my TPMS sensor was on. I was like, oh my gosh, no, this tire is bad, what's happening? So I threw some air in it, let it sit till the next morning, thinking, you know, maybe something just was in there and just needed to drive out or whatever. So I went and filled it up with air, drove it the next, that night home. Then I drove it the next morning to our baby doctor's appointment. And it came back on again, and I was like, crap. So I came home, pulled it off, and I started searching it, sprayed soapy water on it. And for those that don't know, if you spray soapy water on a tire, like in a little squirt bottle, if you have any leaks in your tires, that will bubble up and it'll be a bigger bubble. And that's where you know, A, you have something in your tire, B, it had a previous plug, C, it has a small hairline crack that needs to be plugged, and so on and so forth. But anyways, I sprayed the whole tire, and I found it where it bubbled. Now, I was looking at it, and I couldn't really tell because it was deep in the, like, the main, main tread. So, I grabbed a pair of pliers, and I messed with it a little bit, and then I pulled, and it turned out to be a plug. It was an old plug that was not plugged very well, and it only had literally an inch in the tire. Now, some would say that's good, but I don't. I don't do that and you know some people say oh did you go have it taken professionally no I didn't I did it myself it's not a hard process you can literally buy the kit at Walmart I've ran tires with plugs in them before and they've never given me issues knock on wood my dad's ran them before with no issues and he's ran them to their bald tires and the plugs holding it together which you know still isn't a great thing but you know stuff happens but anyways I did that I aired it up, and I got in the car this morning to leave for work, and it was back on. I thought, oh my goodness, this car is doing this to me again. That tire, anyways. So I grab my tire gauge, and I go and check it. By the way, I have one of the coolest tire gauges ever. Boom, 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 boom. But, uh... I went and checked it, and it wasn't the front one, amazingly. And I was like, what? And I went and checked the back one, and it was like 28 PSI. Mind you, it was like at 50 degrees here the other day, and then it dropped down to like 30. So, I mean, I expected it to lose some pressure, but it still kind of sucked. 
But anyways, um, I'm probably going to turn this into two, two videos. One of me talking about how I fixed the FRS and the second one will be of the tag light video. So that'll be coming like right after it. But uh, I'll probably do like a part one, part two. But anyways, so y'all get two videos. Anyways, um, I aired it up this morning, and whenever I just cranked it and backed it up a second ago, y'all saw that it didn't turn on. So it must be working great, you know, holding right now, but uh, I filled them all up to 40 PSI, and hopefully that'll work for me. Um, so, yeah, let's... I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and then I'm going to start the tag light on both the Fusion and the FRS. So... For those of y'all that are just now watching the video, and if you've made it this far, I'm going to say it now, and I'll probably edit something for a beginning as well. Probably not. But, um, if you like this video, um, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, anything helps. <coughs> Excuse me. Been a little sick from pollen. It's been hot, cold, everything. But if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. It really helps out, you know. I'm not doing this for money or anything like that. I just, it's a hobby and I just enjoy it. But go ahead, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Um, if you want more content about an FRS or a newer Ford Fusion. Um, the Ford Fusion isn't going to have as much stuff because, you know, it's my wife's car and I don't want to completely modify it out because it still has a good warranty on it the frs has a good warranty too but uh, if you watched my f1 video f-150 videos you might see that i don't stick to the warranty very well but anyways um yeah go ahead give this video a like subscribe stuff like that and uh i will make the second video in just a minute so Okay, I really don't know why I did the whole snappy thing. Um, but, if, like I said, watch the second video. Enjoy. Um, more content will be coming soon. i um, thinking about doing a muffler delete. But, uh, anyways, I don't want to steal people's lines. So, I don't know what I'm going to use for an outro. But, be happy. And, you know, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough or anything like that. And just always remember, be yourself because being yourself is better than being somebody else. Thanks, y'all. Have a good rest of the day.